Yeah, my name is Max, Pastor Max. I'm from Haiti. I'm an Afro-Caribbean guy. But when I was like 20 years old, I moved to DR. And I spent like 18 years living in DR. My wife, she's a Dominican girl and really beautiful girl. Uh, it, Creole is my first language. Spanish is like, like my third language. And now I'm learning English, you know. I, I hope I could do it in English this morning, but that's going to be the, fir- the, the next time. Not for today. For today, I got my, my, my brother Carlos here. going to be my translator. Yeah, yeah. Can you praise God for Carlos? <laughs> yeah. Praise God. <laughs> uh, it was like 2002 when I moved to DR in 2006. Uh, after hearing the gospel for a couple of times, but for the first time in 2006, I understand the gospel. And I become a Christian then. One year later, like in 2007, I met for the first time a guy called Lipe. Before he became Pastor Lipe. It was just Lipe Fernandez. The Luis Fernandez youngest son, you know. Uh, he was one of the first person who called me pastor then. And I still was a new believer. And now serving with him in ministry as my friend, as my pastor, as a mentor is a privilege, right? Can you praise God for Pastor Lipe, please? We're still talking about encounters with Jesus, and this morning we'll be talking about Jesus the healer. Así que a partir de ahora le voy a dejar a Carlos que traduzca. So I'm going to start translating now. <laughs> El Jesús que sana. Jesus who heals. Uh, Jesús es el personaje más grande de la historia. He is the main person of the story. No solamente porque es un personaje, un profeta. Not only because he's a prophet. No porque simplemente fue un gran maestro. Not only because he was a great teacher. Uno que produjo grandes cambios en la sociedad. Because he, he made great changes in society. Sino porque él a diferencia de otros grandes hombres. But he was a main difference from other great men. Él siempre decía que él iba a morir y resucitar. He would always say that he was going to die and resurrect. Y así mismo él murió y resucitó el tercer like, día. And just like that, he died and resurrected on the third day. El hecho de que la tumba de Cristo está vacía. The fact that his tomb is, is empty. Es lo que hace a Jesús el más grande de la historia. It's what makes him the greatest in history. Y Jesús, el tiempo que vivió aquí en la tierra. And Jesus, the time that he lived here on earth. Y tuvo varios encuentros. He had many encounters. Y pudo tocar muchas vidas. He was able to touch many lives. Caminó unos tres años entre nosotros. There was, he was among the people for three years. Y vivió, comió, y, y, y era como uno de nosotros. He lived, ate, and he was like one of us. Al final de su ministerio terrenal, at the end of his earthly ministry, prácticamente en su última semana de vida, basically in his last week of life, él tuvo un encuentro con un personaje muy interesante. He had an encounter with a very interesting person, que se llama Bartimeo, who is called Bartho- Bartholomew. Y su historia está en Marcos capítulo 10. His story is in Mark chapter 10, versículo 46 al 52. Verse 46 to 52. Lo puede leer por favor, Carlos. They came to Jericho. And as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a large crowd, Bartimaeus, the son of Timus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the road. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many warned him to keep quiet. But he was crying out all the more, have mercy on me, son of David. Jesus stopped and said, call him. So they called the blind man and said to him, have courage. Get up. He's calling for you. He threw off his coat, jumped up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus answered him, what do you want me to do for you? Rabbi, the blind man said to him, I want to see. Jesus said to him, go, your faith has saved you. Immediately he could see, again, immediately he could see and began to follow Jesus on the road. Hallelujah. Gracias a Dios por su palabra. Thank God for his word. Al llegar a este punto, Jesús era descomunalmente famoso. To come to this point, Jesus was very was famous. Se había convertido en un problema político para Roma. He was a problem for the political politics. For the Roman politicians. Se había convertido en un problema para la religión judaica de la época. Also a problem for the Jewish religion. Ya había eh, planes para asesinarlo ya. There was already plans to assassinate him. 
y de hecho Jesús está entrando a Jericó. And the fact that he's entering Jericho. Y esa historia está en el Evangelio de Marcos capítulo 10. This story is in the Gospel of Mark chapter 10. Mateo capítulo 20. Matthew 20. Y Lucas capítulo 18. And Luke 18. Y en esos tres evangelios. And those three Gospels. Y el, el siguiente evento. The following event. Es la entrada triunfal. Is the triumphal entry of Jesus. Lo cual inicia la última semana de vida de Jesús. And which begins the last week of Jesus. Por lo tanto Jesús estaba en, en la cumbre de su ministerio. He was already at the peak of his ministry, towards the ending of his ministry. Su nombre era muy conocido. His name was very well known. Muchos habían oído hablar de Many él. have heard of him. Jesús hacía tantas tantas tareas dice Marcos que a veces no tenía tiempo para comer. Mark said that he would do so fulfill so many tasks that at times he didn't even have time to eat. Pero ese día él iba a entrar a Jericó. But that day he was entering Jericho. Y dice que al llegar a la puerta de la ciudad. And it says that as he was entering the doors of the city. En la puerta de la ciudad había un hombre. In the gates of the city there was a man. Un hombre llamado Bartimeo. A man called Bart Bartimaeus. En la puerta de las ciudades. In the gates of the city. Era común y normal. It was very common and normal. Encontrar personas eh, desamparadas, homeless. To find homeless people. Personas discapacitadas. To find people who, who are not whole, healthy. Personas que habían perdido sus posesiones, sus propiedades. People who have lost their possessions and property. Mujeres eh, viudas abandonadas. Widows who have been abandoned. Extranjeros que no tenían bienes ni cómo producir riquezas. Uh, strangers or uh, people from, or outsiders who did not have ways to um, build wealth. Es como cuando vas ahora, por ejemplo, a Journal Square o a Hoboken. It's like you go to Journal Square or to Hoboken. Vas a ver que en la parada de trenes y buses hay muchas personas pidiendo. You're going to find that the bus uh, train stops, many people who are, who are begging, who are asking for money. Porque esos lugares funcionan como la puerta de la ciudad. Because those are places that are known as the entrance of cities. Entonces, en esa puerta de Jericho, so in those gates of Jericho, the entrance of Jericho, estaba Bartimeo. There was Bartimaeus. ¿Cuál era la condición de Bartimeo? What was his condition? Bartimeo primero era ciego. First, he was blind. Y ser ciego en una sociedad del siglo primero era una maldición. And to be blind in the first century was a curse. Era una maldición por varias razones. It was a curse for many reasons. Porque era una sociedad donde la gente se valía por su fuerza física. Because it was a type of society where people would value themselves according to their strengths. Era una sociedad muy hostil. It was a society... Hostil. A hostile society. Donde todo el trabajo era manual, era físico. Where all the work was physical or manual. Y los hombres tenían que ir a la, a la guerra. And men had to go out. De hecho, muchas civilizaciones. Therefore, many civilizations. Como los griegos, por ejemplo. Like Greeks, for example. Muchas ciudades griegas mataban a los niños cuando nacían discapacitados. Many Greek societies, Greek cities would kill children when they were handicapped. Todavía las pruebas están en el monte Taegueto, por ejemplo. The, the proof is still there in those cities, for Todavía example. Todavía hay muchos esqueletos de bebés que tiraron de ese monte. There are still skeletons of babies that were thrown from the mountains. En Esparta, por ejemplo. In Sparta, for example. No había discapacitados. There were no handicapped. Y, 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 y los romanos no les gustaba tener muchos discapacitados. And Romans did not like to have many handicapped. Porque mientras más discapacitados. Because the more handicaps you have. Menos soldados para el imperio. The less soldiers you would have for the imperio, for, the, for the army. La civilización judaica. For, for in the Jewish uh, uh, civilizations. Es una de las pocas que le daba valor a la gente por ser gente, no por lo que hacían. Uh, they would, one of the few groups of people that would give value to people for being people, not for what they would be doing. De hecho, una de las primeras acusaciones que le hicieron al cristianismo en el siglo I. So one of the first accusations that they gave to Christianity in the first century es que el cristianismo estaba debilitando la sociedad. Is that Christianity was weakening society. Porque le daba la bienvenida a todos. Because they would give honor or value to everyone. Le da, adoptaban a niños discapacitados. They would adopt handicapped kids. Construían espacios para mujeres abandonadas. They would construct space a places for widows. Entonces, aquellas personas que la sociedad rechazaba, so those people that society would reject, el pueblo de Dios los abrazaba. The people of God would hug, y embrace. muchos creyentes fueron a los tribunales por esa causa. So many believers were indoctrinated for this cause. Entonces, Bartimeo era ciego. So Bartimeus was blind. Y ser ciego era una maldición. And to be blind was a curse. Y Bartimeo había nacido ciego. Bartimeus was born blind. Él tenía que vivir toda su vida pidiendo limosna. He had to live his whole life asking for no alms. No tenía dignidad. 
He had no dignity. No tenía esperanza. He had no hope. Y para su problema, and for his problem, no había solución humana. There was no human solution. Ahora bien, but now, Bartimeo tenía tres años escuchando acerca de Jesús. Bartimeus had three years listening about Jesus. Pero era ciego. But he was blind. Él no podía ir donde estaba Jesús. He didn't. He couldn't go where Jesus was at. Pero de alguna manera, but in one way or another, en los planes de Dios, in the plans of God, Jesús estaba pasando donde estaba Bartimeo. Jesus was passing where Bartimeus was at. Muchas veces tú no puedes llegar donde está Jesús. Many times you can't reach to where Jesus is at. Pero Jesús viene hacia ti. But Jesus comes to you. Y él está hoy tocando la puerta de tu casa. And today he's knocking on your doors. Está tocando He's knocking at the doors of your heart. Whether you are here with us, whether you're listening online, or you're going to hear this in the future, know that today Jesus has reached your home. He's reached your family. He's come to your reality. Tal vez haya personas en este lugar Maybe there are people in this, in this place que no están como Bartimeo, ciegos físicamente. That are physically blind like Bartimaeus. Que no están físicamente ciego como Bartimeo. That who's not physically blind like him. Pero tienen cegueras en otras áreas de su vida. That maybe you have weaknesses in, any, in other areas of your life. Pueden tener ceguera relacional. It could be in your relationships. Pueden tener ceguera emocional. Emotionally. Pueden tener ceguera financiera. You could have the financial war going Pueden on. Pueden tener cualquier otro tipo de ceguera. Or you could have other type of blindness going on in your life. Yo conozco hombres que me han dicho a mí como pastor en muchas ocasiones. I've heard, I know of other men who've spoken to me as a pastor in Yo other play, times. Yo amo a mis hijos. I love my children. Yo no sé por qué lo maltrato. I don't know why I mistreat them. Amo a mi esposa. I love my wife. No la quiero perder. I don't want to lose her. Pero así la maltrato. But I do mistreat her. Porque esos hombres están ciegos. What Those men are blind. Pero la palabra de Dios nos enseña But the word of God teaches us que si el hijo nos libertare, that if the son will free us, seremos verdaderamente libres. we shall be truly free. No importa la ceguera que hoy estás It enfrentando, doesn't matter how blind you are today. Jesús es la solución. Jesus is the solution. Porque la enfermedad más grande que el hombre sufre, Because the greatest sickness that man suffers no es el cancer, it's not cancer, no es VIH, it's not HIV, no es el COVID-19, it's not COVID-19. COVID-19, the greatest sickness, the greatest sickness, his name is sin, and the only solution is the son, the son of God. La enfermedad más grande que sufrimos es el pecado. The greatest sin, that, the greatest sickness that we suffer is sin. Porque el pecado trae maldición. Because sin brings curse. El pecado trae rompimiento. It brings brokenness. Nos separa de Dios. It separates us from God. Y a menos que regresamos a Dios. And until we return to God. No podemos vivir la vida que Dios diseñó para nosotros. We cannot live the life that God has designed for us to live. Si quieres vivir con propósito. So in order to live with purpose. Tienes que volver a Dios que te creó. You need to return to God who created you. And who created you with a purpose. Entonces, Bartimeo, eso era su so that was Bartimaeus' condition. Pero Jesús está a la But Jesus is coming to the city. Y de la que eran mucha gente, And within the multitude, which was a lot of people, hay uno que a there was one who began to scream. Lo llamo el grito de they, they call it the shout of Bartimaeus. To put the, I'm sorry. The to put on the cry of Bartimaeus. I'm acting like yeah. you saw Spanish, my bad. <laughs> el grito de Bartimeo. Alguien puede decir conmigo, el grito Can de Bartimeo. Can you say it with me, the cry of Bartimaeus. El grito de Bartimeo consistía en dos frases. It consisted of two phrases. La primera frase es, Jesús, hijo de David. It was called the, um, Jesus, the son of David. Y el segundo es, ten misericordia de mí. And the second is, have mercy on me. Can somebody say, Jesus, son of David, Ten misericordia de mí. have mercy on me. La expresión, Jesús, hijo de David, the expression, Jesus, son of David, is a messianic, it's a, it's a, it's a expression to the Messiah. Es un nombre profético. It's a prophetic name. Y ese nombre profético porta una promesa. And it's a prophetic name through a promise. 
una promesa de sanidad. A promise of healing. Una promesa de salvación. A promise of salvation. Una promesa de liberación. A promise of freedom. Una promesa de restauración. A promise of restoration. Porque el profeta Isaías había dicho en el pasado. The prophet Isaiah has said in the past. Que cuando viene el hijo de David. That when the son of David comes. El verdadero rey. The true king. Le va a dar vista a los ciegos. He's going to give sight to the blind. Hará que los cojos caminen. He will have the lame walk. Los pobres serán alimentados. The, the poor will shall be free and he would give bring the 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 the, like, like that? the, the year of jubilee Pero Bartimeo lo llama Jesús, hijo de David. But Barnabas calls him Jesus, son of David. Porque Bartimeo conocía la promesa. Because Bartimeus knew the promise. Yo te pregunto hoy, iglesia. And I ask you today, church. Conoces la promesa. Do you know the promise? Conoces lo que Dios te ha prometido. Do you know what God has promised you? Conoces lo que Dios ha ofrecido para ti. What he has offered you. La palabra dice que las promesas de Dios son para bien. The word says the promises of God are for good. La promesa dice que Dios es tan poderoso. That it says that God is so powerful que él hace mucho más that he gives abundantly more lo que pedimos o lo que creemos. than what you can ask or even imagine. Te voy a decir algo. I'm going to tell you something. Si estás para una if you are believing for a bicycle, Dios puede darte un avión. he could give you an airplane. Él hace mucho más he, God, he does abundantly more de lo que than what you believe. No lo que estás it doesn't matter what you believe in today. Lo que crees es con a lo que Dios what you believe is always small according to what God has for you. No se trata de tener mucha fe. Because it doesn't, it's not about having a lot of faith. Se trata de tener fe. It's about having faith faith en un gran Dios. in a great God, en un gran Dios. in a great God, y Dios es and God is great, y Dios es God is great, El grito de the es, second shout of Bartimaeus is, Ten misericordia de mí. have mercy on me, Escucha, iglesia. listen church, Clamar por misericordia. to cry out for mercy, es hablar con Dios is to speak to God, en el idioma de Dios. in the language of God, Lo voy a repetir. I'm going to repeat that, Clamar por misericordia to cry out for mercy es hablar con Dios is to speak to God en el idioma de Dios. in the language of God. La palabra dice en el Salmo 51, 17, the word says in Psalm 51, 7, los sacrificios de Dios the sacrifices of God son el espíritu quebrantado are, are the broken spirit you got it on the slide. Al corazón contristo the contrite heart y humillado and humbled Dios no despreciarás tú jamás. God shall never reject it. La Biblia enseña the Bible shows que Dios es justicia por naturaleza. That God is righteousness. Pero Dios ha escogido but God has chosen ser misericordioso. To be merciful. Dios ha escogido ser misericordioso con nosotros hoy. God has chosen to be merciful with us today. Por eso estamos vivos. That's why we're alive. Cada vez que tu corazón late, Every time that your heart beats, es Dios regalándote golpes de misericordia. It's God giving you a, a little hit of mercy. Puede poner tu mano en tu corazón y sentirlo. Could you put your heart, the hand to your heart and feel that? Eso es la misericordia de Dios. That is the mercy of God. Diciéndote que te ama. Telling you that he loves you. Diciéndote que está contigo. Telling you that he's with you. Diciéndote que no te ha abandonado. Telling you that he's never abandoned you. Diciéndote que todavía hay esperanza. Telling you that there is still hope. Diciéndote que no se ha acabado. Telling you that it's not over. Diciéndote que te levantas. To get up. Diciéndote que él lo que él ha prometido se va a cumplir. Telling you that what he has promised he will complete. Porque mientras tenemos vida, because while we still have life, la promesa de Dios se cumplirá en nuestras vidas. The promises of God shall be completed in life in our life. Bartimeo era ciego. Bartimeo was blind. No le pide a Jesús riquezas. Don't ask God, Jesus. He doesn't ask Jesus for riches. No le pidió. Ni siquiera le pidió la vista de una vez. He didn't even ask him for sight immediately. Pero lo primero que pidió fue misericordia. But the first thing he asked for was for mercy. Porque su misericordia basta. Because his mercy is enough. Su misericordia es suficiente. His mercy is sufficient. Nada en esta vida es más importante para ti y para mí. Nothing in this life is as important for you or I que su misericordia. than his mercy. Porque el que tiene su misericordia because whoever has his mercy lo tiene todo. has everything. Lo tiene todo. Has everything. Lo tiene todo. Has everything. Para enfrentar cualquier situación en la vida, to confront any situation in life, lo único que necesitas the only thing that you need es que la misericordia de Dios camine contigo. is that the mercy of God walks with you. 
Pero antes de Bartimeo recibir su milagro, But before Bartimaeus received his miracle, él tuvo que enfrentar obstáculos. He had to uh, confront obstacles. Yo los llamo los obstáculos de la pelea que hay que pelear. I call it the obstacles of the fight that we have to fight. Hay una pelea que pelear. There's a fight that we have to fight. Cuando Bartimeo comienza a gritar, when Bartimaeus begins to shout, el equipo de discípulos de Jesús, the team, the disciples of Jesus, que, está, que funcionaban más como un cuerpo de seguridad, they functioned more as a security guards, porque perdieron la visión, because they lost the vision, perdieron la misión, they lost the mission, y comenzaron entonces a empujar la gente y proteger a Jesús. So they began to push the people and protect Jesus. Y comenzaba a decir la Bartimeo en el versículo 40, eh, 48 y 49, and they began to tell Bartimaeus in verses 45 to 49, cállate, so, be quiet, deja de gritar, stop screaming. Deja de llamar al maestro. Stop calling him. Pero mientras más le mandaban a callarse, But the more that they called him to be quiet, más él gritaba, the more he shouted. Habrá gente que te van a decir a ti, There's going to be people to tell you. Deja de orar, stop praying. Because God isn't listening. Deja de creer, stop believing. Because no God has not given you what you believe in. Están en tus zapatos, But you are, they are not in your shoes. La promesa que Dios te dio, they don't know the promises that God gave you. Y ninguno conocen las luchas que estás librando cada día. And they don't know about the struggles that God is delivering you Mientras from every day. Critican, the more that they critique you, sigue keep on crying Mientras out. Freno, the more that they want to stop you, sigue de Dios. keep seeking God. La dice, Because the word says, el que busca, who he seeks, encuentra. finds. El que toca, who knocks, se le abre. it will be open. El que pide, who asks, recibe. shall receive. Y a Dios, there is no prayer given to God que se caerá en el vacío. that will fall on on empty ground. Así que Bartimeo siguió gritando. So Bartimeus continued to shout. No le hizo caso a los que querían intimidarlo. He didn't pay attention to those who tried to intimidate him. Pero al grito de Bartimeo. But to the shout of Bartimeus. Llegó una respuesta. There was a, there came a response. No llegó de los discípulos. No, it wasn't that it came to the disciples. No llegó de los religiosos. It didn't come from the disciples or from the religious people. No llegó de aquellos que se creían que eran mejor que Bartimeo. It didn't come from those who believed to be better than Bartimeus. El maestro en medio de la multitud. The master in the midst of the multitude. Gente gritando su nombre, el Mesías, el Rey. People were calling out his name, Messiah, King. Escuchó la voz de uno que He clamaba por heard misericordia. heard the voice of one person who was crying out for mercy. La voz de uno que por He heard the voice of one who was crying out for mercy. Y Jesús se detuvo. And Jesus stood still. La respuesta de Jesús. The response of Jesus. Así yo lo llamo esa parte. That's what I call that part. Jesús se detuvo. He detained himself. Y mandó a llamar a Bartimeo. He called. He, he, he told him to get Bartimaeus. Ahora. Los mismos que le mandaban a Bartimeo a callarse. The same people who told Bartimeo to be quiet. Son los mismos que van a buscar a Bartimeo. Are the same people who need to go get him now. La respuesta de Jesús. The response of Jesus. Cambió la actitud de los discípulos. Changed the attitudes of the disciples. Ellos le dijeron a, a Bartimeo. They told Bartimeo. No tengas miedo. Don't, don't be afraid. Anímate. Get up. Él te mandó a llamar. He called for you. Iglesia. Church. Cristo te mandó a llamar. Christ has called for you. No me diga a mí cuánto tuviste en el pasado. Does, don't tell me about your past. Que tuviste como la mujer samaritana, seis, seis esposos, no me importa. That you were like the Samaritan woman with six husbands, it doesn't matter. Que como saqueo eras un buen ladrón, no me importa. That like you were like Zacchaeus, a, a thief, that doesn't matter. Como eh, eh, la mujer que, que, que lavó sus pies con lágrima, que era una prostituta, no me importa. Like the prostitute woman who washed Jesus' feet with tears, it doesn't matter. Lo que me importa ahora, what matters to me now, es que Cristo te mandó a llamar. Is that Christ has called for you. Y si respondes, and if you respond, lo único que importa en tu the vida, only thing that matters in your life, es la identidad que te va a dar desde hoy hacia adelante. the identity that Christ gives you from here on out. Porque si alguien está en Cristo, because if somebody is in Christ, nueva criatura es. They are a new creation. The old things have passed. Todo está hecho nuevo. Everything has been made new. Deja de descalificarte a ti mismo. Stop disqualifying your, yourself. Escucha el llamado de Jesús. Hear the call of Jesus. Y responde and a respond Cristo. to Jesus. Ahora, cuando Jesús mandó a llamar a Bartimeo. So now when he, Jesus sends out to call Bartimaeus. El versículo 50 dice. Verse 50 says. Que enseguida. That immediately. Bartimeo soltó la capa. He threw off his coat. Eso es impresionante. It's very, it's very impressive. 
Si vas un poquito más atrás en la Biblia, if you go a little bit behind in the Bible, en el libro de Deuteronomio, versículo 12 y 13, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 12 and 13, anótenlo, you can write it down, la ley de Moisés, the law of Moses, prohibía, prohibited, que una persona que cae en bancarrota, that a person who goes bankrupt, le podían quitar todos sus bienes, that they could take away all their goods, incluyendo sus hijos, including their children, para que trabajen para pagar la deuda, so that they could work to pay off their debt. Pero la ley prohibía que le quitaran la capa. But the law pobre. prohibited for them to take away their coats. La ley dice en Deuteronomio 24, 12 y 13. The book of Deuteronomy says in chapter 24, verses 12 and 13. Si le quitas la capa a un pobre. If you take away the coat of a poor person. En la noche debes devolvérsela. In the night you need to give it back to him. Porque en eso duerme. Because that's what they sleep with. Y eso es misericordia. And that is mercy. Y Bartimeo como ciego homeless. And Bartimaeus as a blind homeless person. Toda su propiedad era la capa. All his property, it was only the, the coat. Pero cuando Jesús lo mandó a llamar, lo primero que hizo fue. But the first, as soon as Jesus calls out for him, the first thing he did was. Soltar la capa. Take off his coat. Porque Bartimeo sabía una cosa. Because Bartimaeus knew something. Si ese hombre me manda a llamar. If that man calls for me. Yo no vuelvo a usar esa capa. I'm not going to use that coat again. Voy a dejar atrás ese pasado. I'm not going to use that coat again. Y voy a caminar a una nueva dimensión. And now I'm going to walk a new path. Y una nueva transición. And a new transition. Hay gente en este lugar. There's people in this place. Que Dios le está diciendo. That God is telling you. Suelta la capa. Let go of that coat. Fracasaste un primer matrimonio. You failed in your marriage. Suelta esa capa. Let go of that coat. Cásate ahora en el propósito. Marry it now in the purpose of God. In the intimacy of Christ. Bajo la autoridad de Cristo. And by, under the authority of Christ. Y las cosas van a ir bien. And the things will go well. Fracasaste en el negocio en el pasado. You failed in your business in the past. Suelta esa capa. Let go of the coat. Te fue mal en el trabajo que tuviste. It went bad in your job. Suelta esa capa. Let go of the coat. Porque hoy. Because today. Cristo te manda a llamar. Christ is calling for y you. Y la capa de la derrota. And the coat he rips it off. La capa de la vergüenza. The coat of shame. Se queda en el pasado. It stays in the past. Y él es revestido hoy and he clothes con you una today capa de una nueva identidad. with a coat of a new identity. Bartimeo botó la capa. Bartimaeus threw his coat off. Porque no solo sabía de la fama de quien lo estaba llamando. Because not only did he know about the fame who was calling him. Pero también conocía el poder del quien lo estaba llamando. But he also knew about the power of the one who was calling him. Muchos conocen la fama de Jesús. Many knew the fame of Jesus. Sales aquí a la calle y pregunta a la gente, ¿conoces a Jesús? Va a decir que sí. Go out to the streets and you ask anybody, do you know of Jesus? They're going to say yes. Celebramos la Semana Santa, la Pascua. We celebrate uh, Passover, Holy Week. Celebramos Navidad. We celebrate Christmas. Yo conozco la fama de Jesús. I know about the fame of Jesus. Pero yo te pregunto. But I ask you, church, a Jesús? do you know Jesus? El Jesús que sana. The Jesus who heals. Bartimeo soltó la capa. Bartimeus let go of the coat. Se levantó. He got up. Y vino a Jesús. And he came to Jesus. Levantarse y venir son dos verbos de acción. To get up and to walk are two verbs, two action verbs. Hay una tarea que le toca a Dios hacer. There's a task, there's a job that God has to do. Hay una respuesta que te toca a ti But dar. there's a response that you have to do. Tú debes tomar la decisión. You need to take the responsibility, the decision. De dejar el círculo de la pobreza mental. To lead the, 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 menta the poor mentality. De esa pobreza espiritual. Of the spiritual poverty. Tienes que levantarte. You have to get up. Levántate. Get up. Eh, eh, ya vivimos el COVID por dos años y todavía tenemos COVID, pero vamos a levantarnos. We've been living in COVID for two years and we still have it, but we're going to get up. Te cancelaron del trabajo. They fired you from your job. Levántate. Get up. Hay otro trabajo esperando. There's another job waiting for you. El que te canceló. The one who canceled you. Solo te está empujando al mejor trabajo. They're only pushing esperando. you to a better job that's waiting for you. Y es verdad que fracasaste, yo también fracasé. You failed, I also failed. Pero levántate. But get up. Porque el que no quiere levantarse. Because whoever doesn't want to get up. Que se busque un espacio en el cementerio. Let them find a space in the cemetery. Si estás vivo, but if you're alive, hay oportunidad y esperanza there para is ti. A, a, an opportunity of hope for you. Levántate. Get up. Y ven a Jesús. And come to Jesus. Ven a Jesús. Come to Jesus. Jesús le hace una pregunta a Jesus asks Bartimaeus a question. ¿Qué quieres que te haga? What do you want me to do for you? Jesús te hace una pregunta, iglesia. He asks you today, church. ¿Qué quieres que te haga? What do you want me to do for you? ¿Qué quieres que Jesús haga por ti? What do you want Jesus to do for you? Bartimeo pidió... Sanidad física. Bartimaeus asked for a physical healing. Pero Jesús le dio sanidad física. But Jesus gives physical healing. Y sanidad espiritual. And spiritual healing. Porque Jesús sabe más 
Because Jesus knows more de lo que than what we need que than what we ourselves think know we need. Todo el texto que tenemos delante se resume en tres expresiones, tres All claves. the text that we have, we see it in three different phrases. Primera expresión, clamar a Jesús. The first is cry out to Jesus. Baltimeo clamó. Bartimaeus cried out. Venciendo obstáculos. Bartimaeus cried out. Venciendo obstáculos. Venció obstáculos. He defeated um, obstacles. ¿Qué te está impidiendo a ti? What is stopping you? Descubrir el propósito de Dios para ti. To discover the purpose of Jesus for you. A lo mejor hay ciertas amistades que tienes que ponerle ciertos frenos. Maybe you have some friends you just got to put to the side. A lo mejor debes desarrollar nuevos hábitos, nuevas disciplinas. Maybe you need to develop new habits, new disciplines. Como leer las escrituras. Like reading scripture. Orar con un compañero. Praying with a friend. Decir presente en los diner groups. To go and, and to, uh, to the community groups. Decir presente en el bautismo. To go to, to the baptism. Entonces, hay que clamar a Jesús, so hay you, que vencer obstáculos. You got to cry out to Jesus, uh, defeat the obstacles, overcome the obstacles. Podíamos quedarnos en la casa we, durmiendo o irnos a la playa. We could have stayed at home sleeping or go to the beach. Que son cosas buenísimas. Which are good things. Yo quisiera tener los pies ahora en agua. I would like to put my feet in water right now. Es bueno. Es un regalo de Dios. It's a gift from God. Pero decidimos venir acá. But, let's, but we decided to come here. A reunirnos juntos. To come together. Para adorar. To worship. Y recibir de parte de Dios. To, and receive from God. Es una decisión. That's a decision. Y vencimos obstáculos And para to él. overcome the obstacles. La segunda clave es creer en Jesús. The, the second word is to believe in Jesus. La insistencia the, que Bartimeo seguía gritando. The fact that Bartimeus continued to cry out. Detuvo a Jesús. That stopped Jesus. Si Bartimeo escucha al primero que le dice cállate. If Bartimeus would have listened to the first person to tell him to be quiet. Y no, y no continúa gritando. And, he's, and he did not continue to cry out. Jesús no lo escucha. Jesus wouldn't have heard him. Estaría ciego hasta hoy Bartimeo. He would have been blind today. Pero Bartimeo como creía en Jesús. But since Bartimeus believed in Jesus. Insistió. He insisted. Insiste. He insisted. No te rindas. Do not surrender. Persevera. Persevere. La perseverancia. The per perseverance. Es la clave. Is the key. La oración. The prayer. Es la cerradura. Is the is, are the tool. Is the tool. Cuando perseveramos. When we persevere. La puerta se abre. The doors will open. Porque Dios. Because God. Escucha. La oración. To the prayers. De uno que persevera. Of a person who perseveres in faith. Entonces lo primero es so the first thing is, clamar a Jesús. Cry out to Jesus. Segundo, creer en Jesús. Second, believe in Jesus. Así que cuando clamas y crees, so when you cry and believe, vas a recibir de Jesús. You will receive from Jesus. Muchos quieren recibir de Jesús. Many want to receive from Jesus. Pero no clama. But they don't cry out. Y no creen. And they don't believe. Jesús por su, por su misericordia. Jesus used through his mercy. Hizo. He did. Por Bartimeo lo que Bartimeo pidió. He gave to Bartimaeus what Bartimaeus asked for. Y Bartimeo en acción de gracia. And Bartimaeus' way of giving thanks. Siguió a Jesús. He followed Jesus. Nosotros servimos a Jesús por acción de gracia. We serve Jesus as a thanksgiving, as a way of giving thanks to God. Tenía 24 años, un ateo miserable. He, he, I, had, I was 24 years old, a miserable atheist. Mujeriego, mentiroso, borracho. A lying, drunkard, womanizer. Ladrón. Ladrón. A thief. Claro que sí, yo robaba. Yo le robaba el dinero a mi mamá. I wouldn't even steal from my own mother. En esa condición miserable. And in that miserable condition. Estaba terminando la universidad. I was finishing school. Mejor estudiante de mi, de, de, de mi, de mi promoción. Best student in, in, in the class. Varios profesores ni corregían mis exámenes. Algunos profesores no corregían mis exámenes. Some professors wouldn't even correct my tests. Se lo test. entregaba, le ponían 100. They were, I would just give it to them and they put 100 on it. Porque había tomado cuatro o cinco materias con ellos y sacaba cien. Because I would take like four or five tests with them and it was all hundreds. Yo era buen estudiante. I was a good student. Pero era miserable. But I was miserable. Terminando la universidad. Finishing school. Sin propósito. Without purpose. Sin esperanza. Without hope. Sin sueño. Without any dreams. Y me preguntaba, ¿y ahora qué voy a hacer? And I would ask myself, now what am I going to do? Y luego escuché a un hombre predicando el evangelio. Then I heard a man preaching the gospel. Y dijo esas palabras. And he said these words. La única vida. The only life. Que vale la pena vivir. That is worth living. Es una vida. Is a life. 
por la cual vale la pena morir. For which is worth dying for. Y la única vida and the only life que vale la pena morir por that is worth dying for es cuando vivimos para Dios. is when we live it for Christ. So y we live for God. And that day, entregué mi vida al Señor. I gave my life to Christ. Confié en la gracia del Señor. I trusted in the Lord. Y sabes de lo único que me arrepiento? And you know what the only thing I repent of? Es haberlo conocido con 24 años y no antes. Is knowing I'm 24 years old and not sooner. Ojalá hubiera conocido con 10 años, con 5 años. I wish I would have known him at 10 years old or at 5 years old. Porque Jesús es todo lo que tengo. Because Jesus is all I have. Es todo lo que necesito. Is all I need. Es todo lo que tiene sentido para mí. Is all that has any meaning for me. Y mi oración cada mañana. And my prayer every morning. Señor, mejor mátame, no deje que me aparte de ti. Lord, kill me before I depart from you. Porque la vida en Cristo. Because life in Christ. Es una vida con propósito. Is a life with purpose. Yo no sé con qué enfermedad llegaste a este lugar. I don't know how you came in today. Pero yo quiero que conozcas al Jesús que sana. But I want you to know Jesus who heals. Él sana tus heridas emocionales. He heals emotional wounds. Él sana tus heridas espirituales. He heals spiritual wounds. Y Él sana aún tus heridas físicas. And he even heals your physical wounds. Él sana tus heridas relacionales. He heals your relationship wounds. Él restaura. He restores. Toda tu identidad. All of your identity. Te voy a poner que te pongas de pie conmigo hoy. You can get on your feet with me today, please. Y si alguien que necesita oración, and if there is somebody who needs prayer y se siente cómodo, if you feel comfortable y quiere que oremos por ti, and you want us to pray for you Carlos y yo queramos, queremos orar por uh, ti. we will pray for you si tú quieres que impongamos las manos, if you want us to put our hands upon you la palabra, queremos poner las manos as the word ti. says that we should put our hands on you Pero yo quiero sobre todo, but I want above all things que no dejes de mirar a nosotros. that just don't look at us y comienza a mirar a Jesús. And start looking at Jesus. El Jesús que sana. The Jesus who heals. El Jesús que liberta. Who delivers. El Jesús que restaura. Who restores. El Jesús que puede darte una nueva historia. Who could give you a new story. No sé si hay alguien que está que se cansó de su historia. I don't know if there's anybody here who's just tired of the story, the history. Hubo un día que miré mi historia. There was a day that I saw my history. Yo no quiero esa historia. I don't want this history. La de mi abuelo no la quería para mí. I didn't want it for me anymore. La de mi abuela no la quería para mí. I didn't want the thing of the past for me anymore. Yo no la de mis para I me. didn't want the story of my parents. Yo no la de mi I didn't want the story of my community. I grew up in the poorest town in the poorest country in the Americas. A el de míos para ir a la I, I had to go through a whole lot of things just to get to school. Y cada vez que Veía esa historia, and every time I would see the his, that history, la que me vivir, the one that I, I had to live, decía, no esa historia para I mí. said, I don't want that history for me. Y en ese momento llegó Jesús. And though in that moment Jesus came, Yo sigo siendo el mismo hombre, I continue to be the same man, tengo el mismo apellido, same last name, Yo sigo siendo un joven haitiano, oh, a, a young Haitian man. Yo sigo siendo del barrio donde nací. I continue to be where I'm from. Pero la única diferencia But the only difference es que llegó Jesús. is that Jesus came. Llegó Jesús. Jesus came. No me digas tu apellido. Don't tell me your last name. No me digas donde te criaste. Or where you were raised. O donde vives. Or where you live. Nada de eso importa. That doesn't matter. Jesús le dijo a Bartimeo, Jesus told Bartimaeus, tu fe te ha your salvado. faith has saved you. No le dijo tu etnia te salvó. It doesn't matter what. No, no dijo tu, su ethnicity lo salvó. No le dijo que lo salvó su etnia, su raza. It does, he didn't say that he saved his race or, or his ethnicity. No le dijo que le salvó uh, 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 su nombre. Or it wasn't his name that saved him. La diferencia. The difference. Lo hizo la fe. Was his faith. Alguien aquí está dispuesto a creer. Is there somebody who is willing to believe? Estás dispuesto a creer. Are you willing to believe today? Ora conmigo. Pray with me. Señor Jesús. Lord Jesus. Hijo de David. Son of David. Ten misericordia de mí. Have mercy on me. Mírame aquí. Look at me here. Here I am. Mírame hoy. Look at me today. Tengo miedo. I am scared. Estoy asustado. I am scared. Tengo dudas. I have doubts. Tengo muchas preguntas. Many questions. Escuché muchas cosas que ni entendí. I've heard many things of you. Pero he oído hablar de ti. But I've heard of, of you. Que haces milagros. That you do miracles. Que sanas. You heal. Que restauras. You restore. Le das vista a los ciegos. You give sight to the blind. Haces que el estéril amamante. So. Haces que el estéril amamante. Que la estéril de a luz. You have the one who cannot give birth to, big, to give birth. Haces que 
el triste baila. You make the sad person dance. Y resucitas a los muertos. And you resurrect the dead. Aquí estoy yo. Here I am. Ten misericordia de mí. Have mercy on me. Dame una nueva identidad. Give me a new identity. Dame esperanza. Give me hope. Y ayuda a mi incredulidad. And help my unbelief. Para creer. To believe. Que puedes hacer. That you can do. Todo lo que prometiste en tu palabra. All that you have promised in your word. Que harás conmigo. That you will do with me. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Padre, yo bendigo tu iglesia, Señor. Father, I bless your church. Bendigo cada hombre, cada mujer. Bless every man and woman here. Cada familia. Every family. Cada linaje. Every lineage. Cada lengua. Every tongue. Muchos somos de muchos lugares muy raro y no nos conocemos. We are all from many different places. Some may be weird that we don't even know of. Pero aquí estamos. Or some different that we may not know of, but here we are. Creyendo en ti, Jesús. And believing in you, Jesus. Y eso nos hace uno. And that's what makes us. Por eso clamamos. That's what we cry out. Que tu misericordia nos alcance. That your mercy would reach us. Que tu favor nos alcance. That your favor would reach us. A nosotros, to us, a nuestras familias, our families, a nuestras comunidades, our communities, a nuestras ciudades, our cities, a nuestras naciones, our nations, y aún al mundo. and even the world. Mira los que sufren. Look at those who suffer. Los que están pasando por enfermedades. Those who are going through sickness. No importa el nombre que tenga. It doesn't matter the name it has. Sabemos que la sangre de Jesús. We know that the blood of Jesus tiene poder has power para sanar to heal y restaurar. and restore. Padre, oramos Father, we pray que venga tiempos de bonanza. that the time of abundance would come, que tiempo de bendición. times of blessings, y tiempo de restauración. and times of restoration. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dios te bendiga, God iglesia. bless you, church. Un abrazo.